If you want to improve your Lightroom edits for Instagram, there are a couple of tools that I always use to get things done better and faster. Whether you're a professional photographer or just starting out, these tips will help you to achieve a more polished and professional look for your Instagram feed. So here are 7 Lightroom tools that will take your photo editing skills to the next level. And let's get started with masking. Masking is one of the best tools to improve your photos because you can easily adjust certain parts in the images way faster now. What you need to do is to just check out this tool over here and now you can select all kind of options like your main element, the sky or even the whole background. And the best part is it actually works. Let's say we just want to edit our key element. So I will select that and now here we go I can make some adjustments to let it stand out even more. So yeah I can highly recommend to use this tool because I use this tool all the time to speed up my workflow. Next we need to talk about presets and one of the best ways to quickly apply a consistent look to all your photos is by using Lightroom presets. Basically these are pre-made adjustments that you can apply to your photos with just one click. And on top you can also change the intensity right here to speed up your editing workflow even more. You can even create your own presets to save some time and to achieve a consistent look across all your photos as soon as you have found your own style. If you need some help here I've already created a variety of preset packs for all kind of scenarios that you can easily check out. They are all available in my shop that is linked down below so maybe pick up one of those packs. And tip number 3 is all about synchronize. If you have a batch of photos that you want to edit in the same way, you can also add a preset to one of your photos and after that you can use the sync settings feature. If you use this feature you can easily apply your edits to all the photos that you have selected in your timeline at once, saving you a lot of time if you have a large amount of photos to edit. Especially if you've already found the sweet spot for your photo sessions you can easily copy and paste the settings and the last step is just fine tuning, so definitely check out this feature. And the next tip that we need to talk about is all about the adjustment brushes. And the adjustment brush in Lightroom is a great tool for making selective edits to specific areas of your photos. This is extremely useful for things like brightening up shadowy areas or darkening bright areas. On top the graduated filter is similar to the adjustment brush but allows you to apply edits in a gradient fashion. This is especially great for adding a graduated filter effect like making the sky in a landscape photo more vibrant. Another brush that we need to talk about is the spot removal brush. The spot removal brush in Lightroom is perfect for removing all kind of distractions from your photos. Simply paint over the area that you want to fix and Lightroom will do the rest for you. I personally use all the brushes in combination with the main masking feature if I just want to edit a specific area area in my images. So yeah, if you want to export some clean images, definitely use them. But now let's move on and another great feature that we need to talk about is the vignette tool. The vignette effect is a great way to draw attention to the key element of your image by simply darkening the edges of your photo. If you do that you can create a more dramatic and visual interesting composition that lets your key elements stand out. I really like to use that to add some more darkness to my images and that helps a lot to get this nice moody look that we all love. So yeah in the end the vignette can give your photo a really nice final touch to let it pop on Instagram. Tip number 6 is all about edit in Photoshop. Yes, yeah, sometimes a photo needs some special adjustments and in this case it would be annoying to export the image and import it into a new Photoshop project. And you can easily avoid that by simply making a right click on your image down here and now you can select the option edit in Photoshop. Now you can easily make some adjustments in Photoshop and right after that if you now save the image again, Lightroom will create a new version of your image that you can use for further editing steps. So yeah, if you need to make some more adjustments in Photoshop, definitely use this feature. It is super helpful without ruining the whole image quality. And now let's talk about tip number 7, sharpening. Another way to make your photos appear more detailed on Instagram is by using Lightroom's sharpening tool. This tool increases the overall sharpness of your photos making them appear more crisp and defined. Of course what I definitely need to mention is that you shouldn't overuse it, but I always add a touch of sharpening to my images, especially if I want to post them on Instagram because everyone sees your image on a small screen and that makes it harder to see all the details. On top the Instagram compression can easily crush details too, so that's why I always add some sharpening to push the details. You definitely don't want to lose them. I also zoom out a little bit to see how the image will look like on the smartphone screen to be sure that I won't ruin the whole image. So especially if you want to post your images on Instagram I can highly recommend to add some sharpness. And by the way if you're interested in my Instagram export settings you can check out the video here on my channel as well, that's everything that you need to know about the best export settings for Instagram. But yeah, these are my top 7 Lightroom tools that I use for high quality posts on Instagram. I hope you can use these tips to take your photos to the next level. And as always let me know in the comments what kind of content you would like to see next. So 
Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay updated for upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next video.